Hi everyone, I know I haven't made a video in a little while, but um, I decided to make another one. I promised somebody I would. Um, they were talking about display boards and how they display their face and body paintings. And you know, because it's ever changing, how can you go about it in an easy way? Well, I've done something completely different. Since I already know all my own face paintings, and if they give me a small little detail about what it you know, looks like, I can tell them exactly what it is so you know it makes it a lot easier if I have because I work with technology a lot if I have mine technology based as you see in front of you is my 23 inch HP touch smart touch screen computer okay so I have a program on here called surface collage you get it from Microsoft if you have a touch screen computer and you have Windows 7 it's really great Right down here I have a little icon called Face and Body Painting Display. This opens up this and I can take any picture, hold my finger on it, which does the right click, and it says open in Microsoft Surface Collage. So I go ahead and I touch that and give it a little while to load up and it'll open up in Microsoft uh, Surface Collage. Now as you see I have a lot of pictures here and there we go now it opens up this is what's great about this it doesn't matter who touches the computer they're not gonna hurt it it's it's a sturdy computer and when I have it on you know for display you know I'll have somebody helping me out and there'll be no problem I have all these pictures down here that they can go through mixed in with face and body art but here's the great thing here's a half face for me okay as you saw I could make it bigger or smaller <coughs> this is a great design which is my ten dollar design let me move it out of the way here is a fifteen dollar design here is a five dollar design so I have a five a ten and a fifteen right okay I don't have the prices listed as you see but if somebody asks me move down okay what kind of five dollar designs do you have well I have this one here and 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 um, let me just move those up for you and um, let me see there's a five dollar design that I have yes any one I design that I have is five dollars so I go in and I'll pull up all my five dollar designs and I'll let them choose from there and I'll tell them okay give me some colors is there you know do you want something different you know hey look here's a zebra we can make that a regular horse we can make it a pink unicorn we can make it a rainbow striped zebra we can do all that so those are all my five dollar designs not all of them those are just the ones I pulled up but somebody goes okay well, what about a $10 design? What does a $10 design look like? So I just pop up that one. And, uh... <coughs> well, no. Not Batman. Um, good example of another $10 design. Let me see. Right there. Going down onto the neck. You know? Half avatar. I'll pull that one up. We got this snake going in the eye and coming out the ear. You know, uh, here's here's me as a half skull stitched. <coughs> but as you see, it's easy for me to pull these up, and they're like, "Wow, that is so cool! I want to see it in better detail." Whoa, that is so awesome! So they can touch it. It's interactive. It's fun. You know. And that's how I use this as a great display. Now I could always, um, for more of the adult people, pull up some of my body art. Yay. Hey, look, there's Wonder Woman. Yay. Come on, open. There we go. <coughs> so <clears throat> they can see what I do and stuff like that. Instead of having a slideshow like some people have, or if I'm in an area where I can't really have this I have my tablet here 
And as you can see, I have all kinds of different things. Now, I have face painting, which is strictly for the kids. You know? And then I have samples, which is more of my body art. But if I go into my face painting, I have all these different designs right here to show them. And I can pull them up at any time. You know? Or I can hit a slideshow and just have it play fully all the way through. So as you see, there's different things that can be done with the technology that we have nowadays. Now with this, this is what's neat. Because say you like this face, but you know they want to scroll through and they want to look. And they want to see what else you have. They can. They're not going to hurt it. It's a tablet. It's made to be touched. You know, I have it in a base so I can put it down. You know? And uh, <laughs> you're not able to see it. But it's right there. And I can touch it. I can scroll it. And these are just a couple of the different technologies that you can have nowadays to really make sure that, you know, your business is out there. Um, taking this out, I've done it before at different festivals. It's not as big a problem as everybody thinks. Oh, you're going to break your computer, this and that and everything else. You would not believe how many people are respectful of your stuff. You know, I'll place out maybe my slideshow I'll have in front of it just to show off some other things. I'll have my business cards out. You know, this is going to be in front of me, so I'm going to be able to see everything that's going on because when I'm painting the person in the chair behind it, I'm looking this way. So I'm looking at the people that are at the computer so I can keep an eye on it the whole time. And right now I do have some help with different things. So these are just a few of the different things that you can do. Now, I may have... Um, Depending on where I'm at, I may have a simple display board because I don't want to do a lot of intricate detail. You know? So, I just try to keep it simple sometimes. But, I mean, these are some more complex designs. Um, this thing's going to go for probably about $25 if I do this on anybody. So, you know, it... It's up to you what you want to do. Making display boards is fine. You can do whatever you want. Um, this is just what I prefer to do because it's a lot more interactive and it gets them involved. And the more involved your customers are, the more money you're going to make. So, I hope this helped you out a little bit. This is just what I do. You don't have to do it. Because um, I'm telling you, this is a $1,200 computer. <laughs> it's probably not that much now because... When I got it, it was $1,200. And, you know, <laughs> the tablet was a little bit expensive too. But the thing is, if you have this technology for the people, they already know about it. So if you give them the ample opportunity to explore it, it's going to be more interactive. They're going to have more fun. And I've made tons of business off of this. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll have some links down below that you can go to uh, my Katmandu face and body art page where you can see all these pictures and more and um, learn some different things about what's going on and find out more about my uh, second edition Blue for Autism charity book that I'm doing which you will see her in <laughs> and quite possibly her in but um, I think she was in the last book so I don't think I'm going to put her in but um, thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later. Bye.